LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Okay, let's install your key onto the keyboard. Start out by looking at the metal plates that are on the keyboard. You can see there's a single hook on top and two smaller hooks at the bottom but make sure to look at the different keys because they're going to change position sometimes the uh, single hook is going to be at the bottom left to right and so that's going to determine the position for these pieces here um, we're going to click these two pieces together to make just one piece and we do that by um, finding out the position for the large piece first you can see that at the top it has two small sticks at the corners hanging out and at the bottom there's two larger ones. Those large ones go wherever the two hooks are. In this case they're down there so I put the two large sticks down there also. And in the middle of the vertical bars there's two holes where the next piece is going to click into. So make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like that by feeling underneath the vertical bars. Uh, if you see, if you feel a bump there, that has to face the keyboard and on top is just smooth. So now you know the position for that piece. You put it down for now and you get the next piece which is this. You can see there's um, two holes, I mean two sticks at the bottom, two sticks at the middle where that's going to go into the holes that are in the larger piece here. Um, and then there's the vertical, the horizontal bar at the top. That's going to go clamped onto the single bar wherever it is. I mean the single hook on the metal, on the keyboard. In this case the hook is up so we put this plastic piece up. And make sure not to put this whole piece upside down by looking or feeling the bottom bar here. You can see that there's a, a gap, a little hole there that has to face the keyboard and on top it's just smooth so now you know the position for both pieces what you want to do is you um, put the small piece over the large piece and then you just put the uh, top bar of the small piece underneath the top bar of the larger piece like that and then you hold that in place next thing what you want to do is insert the sticks that are in the middle of the small piece into the holes that are in the middle of the larger piece and you do that just by grabbing the large piece and separating it from the smaller piece in order for it to um, have enough space to actually go in the hole. You do that one side first then you do the same to the other side. Now both pieces are just one piece. What you want to do is insert the large sticks into the two uh, hooks on the keyboard and hold that in place. Then um, you get a thin object. I use the blade. What you want to do is put it in between the rubbery cup and the, um, the uh, plastic pieces and push up in order to stretch the plastic pieces. Not really down against the keyboard, but what we're trying to do is make the, pla the metal hook grab onto the plastic bar of the small piece. So just push upward until you feel it um, grab onto there. You might feel a click. Then what you want to do is put the key right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. And there you go. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys.